The Hillary Clinton email controversy has lived on now for literally years at this point. However, the reality of the controversy is that it was an attempt by Trump supporters and campaign team members to disrupt Clinton's presidential hope and eventually cost her votes. The actions of Trump's team simply did one thing, helped Trump win the U.S. presidential election. But the move was underhanded and quite possibly illegal. At the center of information regarding Clinton's emails was one specific U. S. Government employee, Brian McCauley. As an official employee of the FBI, McCauley was manipulated by Michael Flynn, former Trump campaign advisor and eventual Trump appointee to the position of national security advisor. Flynn resigned shortly after his appointment as national security advisor due to his relationships with foreign governments before and during the Trump campaign. McCauley was being paid by Flynn acting on behalf of the Trump campaign team. But, initially none of this came to light. What did come to light was McCauley's statements that the US State Department was seeking to classify certain Clinton emails in order to bury them from the eyes of the American public. The emails in question were specifically related to issues involving events that took place in Benghazi. According to the information McCauley released, Information was sun to make it seem as though the State Department and Clinton were trying to cover up information, events, and correspondence which could have been detrimental in Clinton's presidential run. Once the American conservative media caught wind of this theory, they ran with it and began to relentlessly report that Clinton and State Department officials were orchestrating a massive cover-up to hide Clinton's knowledge and negligence in the events that took place at Benghazi but nothing could have been further from the truth. Eventually, the cover-up theory was found to be false. In fact, McCauley even addressed the idea that there was collusion between the State Department and the FBI in regards to a cover-up. McCauley stated in an interview with the New York Times, listen, there was no collusion, there was absolutely no collusion. That's illegal. Something that was underhanded, illegal, I would not do it. No one in the FBI would do it. It's a matter of integrity. So, why was McCauley on Flynn's payroll? As an agent for Trump's campaign, Flynn was trying to stir the pot to create information that would be severely damaging to Clinton. Therefore, he utilized information from McCauley and created an issue of negative impact directed at Clinton. The interesting fact is that Flynn was under contract for services by foreign governments while working on Trump's campaign, and those foreign governments could be, or at least, be linked back to, Russia. Another fail on the part of Trump and his team, in the long run. As more information and investigation has continued into his campaign ties to Russia, more information has come out as to how his team used underhanded tactics and manipulation of information to cost Clinton a fair shot at the presidency. If anyone, or any group, should be under fire for a cover-up or illegal use of information, it should be Team Trump.